In MathCAD, you can perform vector and matrix operations. In this video, we will take a look at the first four of the seven operations. If you go to the Matrices Tables tab from this drop-down list, you can perform a cross product. You can extract the column. You can extract an individual element. You can extract a row. You can transpose a matrix. You can find the norm and you can also perform the vectorization function. Let's take a look at the cross product first. So these two vectors are the points that define a vector, a vector going from 0, 0, 0 to the point with the x coordinate 10 and then the y coordinate 20 and the z coordinate 30. And the same thing for the b vector. You can perform a dot product at just using the keyboard. So for example, if I type in a, and then times, which is shift eight, and then B, and then hit the equal sign, I will get the dot product. Let's go to the math formatting tab, and I'm gonna change that from general notation to decimal notation. And the dot product is defined as the corresponding element of each vector multiplied by each other. So for example, it's 10 times 40 plus 20 times 50 plus 30 times 60. But let's take a look at the cross product. The cross product, well, I've got the definition over here. So for example, the first element of the cross product is the other two points or the other two uh, coordinates minus the other two coordinates for the x and then for the y and for the z. And here it is evaluated. Let's take a look at doing that using the operator. So I will type in a and then let's go to the matrices tables tab and then vector matrix operations. Then I will hit the cross product, which is the keyboard shortcut of control eight and then type in B and then equal sign. And there you can see the evaluation of the cross product, which matches up with the definition. All right, let's move on. Let's take a look at extracting an individual column. And before I extract a column from this matrix of numbers, I wanna mention that there is a special variable called origin. Let me go to the calculation tab. Here's origin. That means that the first column and the first row start out with the number zero. From this drop down list, you can change the value. You can also define it yourself or evaluate it. So, for example, I will type in origin and then hit the equal sign, and we can see that it has a value of zero. So, this first column is column zero, then column one, then column two, and column three. Let's take a look at extracting some values. So, if I type in numbers and I want to get a column, Let's go to the matrices tables tab and the vector matrix operations. Here is the command and it is the keyboard shortcut control shift C. I will click on that and let's type in the number one and then hit the equal sign. And that column with the index number of one is five, six, seven, eight. Let's do that one more time. Let's type in numbers. This time I will use the keyboard shortcut, control shift C, and then let's do the column with the index number of three and then equals, and that is the 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, let's take a look at extracting different elements. And so here we have a matrix that I created from all the different physics constants. If you go to the math tab and then constants, here we have under physics, these 15 different values. And so let's extract an individual element. So let's type in the name of the matrix, constants. And then for the elements operator, I will go to the matrices tables tab, and then let's go to vector matrix operations. And it is this third one over here. The keyboard shortcut is the left bracket. So let's type in this. And then when you're going to extract an element, it's going to be the row and then the column. Sometimes I forget that. So for example, if I want to get the H value, I will type in zero comma. And then remember that the first column and the first row have that index number of zero. So if I type in zero comma two and then hit the equal sign, here we get the value. If we want to confirm that, let me go to the math tab and then constants and then click on H. 
and then evaluate it. And we can see that, yep, they are the same value. Let's take a look. Let's say I want to get, I think this is like permissivity or something. Let me go back to the constants drop down. This one over here, that is the permittivity of a vacuum. So let's go to constants, type in the name. This time I will use the keyboard shortcut. Again, it is the left bracket. And so it would be the two row and then hit the comma. And if I want this one, there'll also be two. Wait, no, no, that'll be one. <laughs> Sometimes I mix myself up two comma one. Let's hit the equal sign and let's double check that. Let's go to the uh, constants drop down and then type in that epsilon sub zero and hit the equal sign and we can see that the values are the same. Hey, let's just do that one more time. Let's type in constants and then this time I will go to the matrices tables tab, vector matrix operations. Here is the element operator. And then let's type in, let's see, which one do I want in this case? Let's get this one over here. So this would be one comma, and then zero, one, two, three, four, and then hit the equal sign, and it is 0 0.007. And if we go to the math tab and then constants, and that alpha, that is the find structure constant, and hit the equal sign, and yep, lo and behold, it is the same value. All right, and the last one to take a look at in this video, let's extract a row. And I created a matrix in this situation by using range variables. I created a range variable i going from zero to six in integer increments and did the same thing with j. And then I defined powers and then with the element operator, i comma j is equal to i to the j power. And so here we have zero to the zero power, zero to the one power, zero to the two power, and so on. And here is one to the one, excuse me, zero through six powers. Uh, by the way, you'll notice that zero to any power is zero except for zero to the zero power. And there's a really great video on YouTube by this guy named Eddie Wu, where he'll go through and explain to you why zero to the zero power is one. But anyhow, here we have two to the various powers, three to the various powers, four to the various powers, five to the various powers, and then six. So we want to extract a row. Well, let me type in powers, the name of the matrix, and then we can go to the matrices tables tab, and then vector matrix operations, and this fourth one here is the matrix row operator, and it is the keyboard shortcut control shift R. So let's click on the command, and this time I will type in three. Once again, remember that the origin is set to zero. So when I hit the equal sign, hey, we have 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, 243, 729, because this is the zero row, first row, second row, third row. And let's do that one more time using the keyboard shortcut powers, and I will hold down control shift and then hit the R key. And then let's type in five and then hit the equal sign. So here we have those numbers. I can always go to the math formatting tab and change it from the general format to the decimal format. And there you can verify the different values from that particular row. So there you have it, the first four of the vector and matrix operations. In the next video, we will take a look at using the transpose the norm and the vectorization functions.